What's going on guys? I'm Lone Player here and today we've been opening 30 exotic engrams within Destiny. Now I'm sure some of you are probably wondering how did you get 30 exotic engrams? How is that possible? Well the short answer is that I used three of coins that I farmed it and that's the short answer really. If you want the long answer and more detailed guide I'll link a video I made in the description which is how to rank up far to get exotic and grind the Vanguard Heroic Strike playlist. So that video will be in the description if you want to find out how to get more exotic engrams. But for now we're going to open these. I've got several of each category so we should get a, a, a decent amount of stuff. Looking forward to this. I've only got one boots for some reason. They seem to be the more rare but yeah when opening these i do have most of these whoa <laughs> okay i'll start this intro when there weren't anyone there's like two people here now there's a bunch what's up dudes yo so hopefully these guys bring us some good luck and uh, hopefully we get some good stuff as you notice i am also 335 so that doesn't guarantee that every single thing will be 35 we'll get some below there aren't many exotics that i still need i've got the majority of them especially i have one of each in the kiosk i can buy so there are some like the universe remote maybe like kepri sting I don't have, but I have most of them. I do also have the Zen Meteor, so I don't need that anymore, thankfully. So let's crack on and see what we get. So starting off with the Gauntlets, I guess, we've got the Don't Touch Me. Let's just check the light level and see what they've dropped at. For example, 335 and 335, can't complain. And of course, we'll go through all the stat rolls and see. Hopefully, we get some hidden gems with some really, really good ones, because they can drop, of course, a different intellect and discipline and stuff like that. So not really going to waste too much time and spend loads of detail on each of them. Just going to kind of blitz through and see, for example, what you get out of these engrams and as you can see most of them are for the hunter oh yeah packages as well uh oh antique land let's have a look at that shader real quick but most of the stuff is for the hunter of course damn the hunter but you do also have a chance of getting stuff that isn't for your class that is a pretty pretty cool shader not gonna lie probably gonna get rid of that if i want i'll pick up from the kiosk later but let's crack on with the exotics we've got legendary because they're out of the way uh cracking on we've got the glass house and let's check the levels again just to see what we get 334 35 35 that's cool I actually want a 335 Gravis on forfeit. But yeah, mostly 334. I'm thinking that 334 is the lowest you can get. Basically, this is going to be a ton of infusion of fuel for me. So I'm going to have infusion of fuel for days, pretty much. Just basically so much stuff to infuse. And hopefully this should mean my Warlock and my Titan are also 335 with ease as well. Because I've got stuff of pretty much every category. We're getting a load of Crypto package. I did not expect to get them this often. I bet these guys are just wondering, how is he getting this many exotics? We've got a blue. Motive Light, sick. Right, let's crack on the last word. Hope we can get one Zen Meteor. Hey, there you go. Just as I said it. What level? 335. Not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. How many we got left? We got some special. Oh, is that it? We're down to five. So yeah, we'll take a look at all the light levels of the perks and stuff like that. Let's crack on the fourth horseman. I don't know. Oh, Universal Remote. I don't think I had that in year two. That's pretty cool. Patience of time. I had that before hereafter. And that patience of time. So not bad. Not a bad haul. And like I said, this is going to be infusion fuel for days. And this means my Warlock and Titan should hopefully be 335 because I've got plenty of stuff in every category. So, Skull of Dire Ahamkara, uh, pretty good roll right there. I think I'll probably keep that because I'm liking the uh, Voidwalker right now. The Glass House, pretty good right there. You don't touch me. I don't actually use these. I probably would like to keep one of these. Hand Cannon Reload, nothing too great there. Pulse Rifle, I'd like one with Sniper. That would be ideal. Now, this Crest, I would love one. If I've got one for Void, that would be perfect. And we don't have Void, sick. They're literally all just arc burn. I never use Blade Dancer, so these are kind of wasted for me. I think that's set to arc, but if we get a Void one, that'd be perfect. I'll probably just have to re-roll it with Glass Needles. The Radiant Dance Machines, we've got Void Double Kill. Not bad. I might actually use these in Crucible. Sometimes Titan Rocket Ammo, which is good. The Heavy Truth, this is the Rocket Launcher I pretty much always use in Crucible, so pretty happy with this thing. Got a Dragon's Breath Thunderlord. I love this weapon. Uh, super good advice. A bunch more truths, so yeah, these are all pretty nice. Uh, Zen Meteor, 335, 334, 5, and 5. So yeah, sweet infusion fuel right there. This is my, pretty much, my, I think my only set of 335 stuff. I may have like one or two, but now, like I said, this is infusion fuel for days. So I think I'm set. 334, we've got a couple 334s in there. But um, yeah, I, I guess that's also answering the question. If you hit 335, what happens? How many 335 stuff do you get? It's probably about, I say, 60-40 ratio of 335 to 334. So in case you're wondering, what happens when you do hit the max level? That is what happens. And there is 30 exotic engrams. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video anyway. Like I said, I'll leave links in the description to videos where I describe how to get these engrams as quickly as possible and a bunch of other videos as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like rating if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.